back to my tutorial for today. Today we'll be looking at how to cut a short flip dress, uh, a short flip in a full dress. And I'll be illustrating on that with this Ankara fabric, which is four yards. So first thing we'll be folding our fabric to cut the lower half of the flip dress first. So just carefully watch how I'll be folding it. Okay, so I just open my wrapper. These are the edges. This is the edge. I'll just take one edge just like this and I'll fold to get an E. Just like so. Just fold one part to get an E. Just like this, then you fold. Just fold into two. Part, you don't want the lower part to be that full, then you, have, you just reduce it this way. You won't fold it up to the extreme end. But since I want my gown to be full, I'll be folding it to that point. After folding your flail, you mark your waist like the waist I'm working with is 28 inches divided by 4 will give me 7 inches. So I'll mark my 7 inches along the edge. Just mark your seven inches. So from that line, you minus your half length, and the half length I'm working with is 14 inches to get my dress length. The dress length I'm working with is 14 inches. So you minus 14 from that 40 inches. I just place my tape and place 14 on the tape. Then on that line, my tape now on the line is 14. So for that point, I'll get my 40 inches. 14 inches. So I'll just move my tape carefully and mark 14 inches round. Just mark 14 inches round. 14 inches. Do something from the other side. 14 inches. 14 inches. So I'll connect the line together. Okay, I believe you can see my line. Okay, so this is the front part of the dress. I'll just go ahead and cut this out. Then we'll use the front to cut the back. Okay, this is my front part. I've cut it out. So I'm using this front part now to cut the back part. Okay, I'll just bring the rest of my fabric. In cutting the back part, I won't be cutting it together I'll be cutting one side before the other that is because of the zipper allowance so I didn't fold it into two so you can see so I'll just open it up like this place the front pass so on this folded area I'll get my zipper allowance this is the center front so I'll just place it and make sure I get my zipper allowance 1.5 inches okay, I'm just ensuring it's equal so I'll just go ahead and cut it now you can see the allowance we are having for my zipper I'll notch the waistline of my zipper allowance so I'll just cut it I'll just trim it up now. This is one side of my back. This is the front and this is the back. So I'll just go ahead now and notch my zipper allowance. Okay, so I'll use this one to cut the second back part. I'll open up my fabric again. So I just open it up to cut my second back part. So right side facing each other. Ensure you don't make this mistake. Because you cut 
two wrong parts or two right parts. So you ensure the right side is facing each other like this. Then you place and cut. Okay, I'll just cut exactly how it is. Okay. So also notch the zipper allowance here. Then I'll cut it round. So you have cut the two pieces. We'll go ahead over now to cut the upper part of our thing. I'll cut the dress. In cutting the upper part now, what we'll do now, we'll fold our fabric into two using your shoulder measurement. And the shoulder I'm working with is 14 inches divided by 2, we give me 7 inches. 7 inches. And for my half length, I'll be attaching an, uh, a yard and half inches band to the waistline of my skirt. That's the play part of the dress. So, what I'll mark here, I'll mark exactly. So, I minus 1 inch for my half length, I'll be using 13 inches. Because of the band I'm going to attach, that's why I'm using 13 inches. So I'm using 13 inches here. Okay, on this line now, I will take my shoulder measurement, which is 7 inches. So instead of using this exact 7 inches, I'll take away 1 inch. This is a sleeveless and carrot dress. I'll take away 1 inch for my shoulder measurement. So I'm using a total of six inches instead of seven inches. Then I'll open that with my shoulder slope one inch. Then I'll mark three inches along the left line. I'll connect my shoulder slope. So from that point now, I will go down by same six inches. I just mark six inches all the way down. Six inches. So I just connect in a straight here. In a straight line. And connect my lines together. Okay, for my neckline now, I'll be coming down by, so I'll cut this out in order not to confuse it before cutting the neckline. I'm working with my front part. So what I'll be doing now, I'll be driving the neckline. So you can see it's a V neckline. So that's what we're drafting now. So for the neck width, I'll be marking three inches. Then my neck depth, I'll come down by 6.5. So I'll just connect to my ruler. Okay, I'll cut this out. Depending on how deep you want your V neckline to be, you can go deeper than this, seven or eight inches, just based on preference. So this is what I'm having for the front part. So I'll use this now to cut the back part. So for my back part now, I'll be marking my zipper allowance. Remember, I'll use 1.5 inches for the skirt zipper allowance. So we we'll maintain that 1.5 inches. I'll also mark 13 inches for my half length. We are using 13 inches because we are attaching the band to the waistline. 13 inches. 13 inches. So connect. So 
just place my front on it and I'll cut. But for the back neckline, we'll be just taking away one inch for our back neckline. I should trim off this. So I'll just trace out the sides, my shoulders, the, the bodies. So for the neckline for my back, I'll be using one inch. Just one inch is fine. So I'll just connect this. So I'll just go ahead and cut this out. Ensure you extend your neckline to the zipper around. Okay. So that's all about the upper body. So I'll cut my lining to line this piece. You can also insert a dart to the upper body of your dress, or you can leave it that way. So I'll just line it up now. I'll cut my lining to a piece. Okay, I'll go ahead to cut out my lining for my pinafore. This is, you see, this is the front part. So what we're doing now is to line the upper bodies first. So I just place the lining on the right side of my fabric. Uh, I'll first of all turn the neckline before turning the side area. So we just sew using quarter or half inch on the neckline like so. And you also sew the you turn the side area. Please ensure you turn the side area to have a neat work. We'll do the same thing for our back parts. We we'll turn the neckline, the spa allowance, and also the side area. Okay. After doing this, I'll show you guys what next. See, I've turned it with my lining. This is how it's looking. So I'll go ahead and give it a push press. Punch. The front and the back. We'll be turning the shoulder area. This is how I'm going to do it. I will just join it outside like that. You no, know, it will make my work rough. So I'll just place it like this. Insert the front inside like this. You can see what I'm doing. I'm, pick, I'm putting it inside the lining. Inside the lining of the back. Start pushing it like this, then you put your hand through the down part and flip it over. When you flip it over, you arrange it very well. Okay. You ensure it's equal. Then I'll sew it using half inch. I just mark on it straight. Now I'll do on the both side and show you guys what to do. Okay, as you can see, I've turned my shoulder. This is how it's looking. And this is the wrong side, looking very neat. So I also insert that at the back part of my pinafore. You know, I didn't insert at the front. It's just the long pushment from just to put on both sides. Nothing wrong with that. So this is the front part. So I'll be working on the waistline of my skirt part of my pinafore now. Okay, guys, this is the skirt part of my pinafore, and this is where I notch for my zipper allowance. So I'll just roll that part out. Okay, so you can see the job is my zipper allowance. So I'll just get my bib. So away from the line I created, I'll take my waist measurement, which is 28 inches. I'll mark my 28 inches on the waistline, please. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Where I notch for my zipper allowance, I'll just roll it out and I'll take my waist measurement. 
is 8 inches. So I'll be shaping my dress from that point. I'll just shape it and in an A line way, straight down. I'll repeat the same process on the other side. I'll be joining the right side to the back side, that's the side of the dress. Then I'll sew. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side, making me have just one wide piece. So I'll just go over to the machine now and do this before cutting the band. Okay, I'm not having a single piece like this. You can choose to line yours before joining the both sides together. You can just line everything. Don't need to line it up. I wouldn't want to do that. That's just based on preference though. Measure it round to the end. I'm having 35 inches. Okay, this is for my band. I just got it straight and uh, it's two inches wide, half inch for sewing allowance. I'll be attaching it to the upper part and lower part using half inch. So this is two inches. So I'll match this first before attaching it to the skirt part. You first attach it. and this the side you join will be the one you'll be attaching to the skirt part while the folded area you use for the upper part so i'll just match on this using quarter inches okay i've sewed it using quarter inches or less than quarter inches so now i'll be attaching it to the skirt part of my pinafore you know, so i'll just go ahead and attach it like this the joint part will be on the that's the sewed part will be on the waist of the skirt and i will sew using quarter inches round to the end of it i'll just show you guys after sewing on it that's what i'll just do you can cut your lining exactly the lining using your waistline and turn from this band side downwards to make a work meter and if you don't have a lining, you can weave the inner part of it. You can just cut your lining and use it to turn the down part. You just face it from the waistband and you turn over to the lower part of your pinafore. So this is what I'm having. You can see the band. So right now, we'll go ahead now and attach our pinafore. In doing that, I'll fold this into two equal parts. And I'll use my chalk to mark the midpoint. Okay, after folding into two equal parts like this, I'll mark the center part where I have my midpoint with my chalk. You can see, and I'll carry the upper part as well and notch the midpoint. I'll just fold it into two. I will notch the midpoint. This I'm not sure inside to serve as a guide where you fix the center front. I'll just use my chalk to mask it as well. You can see this is the upper part. Then you bring the front like this, place it this way. That's the upper part is facing downward like this. You make sure the chalk you match is at the same point with the lower one. That's it. You make sure they intercept like this. Then you pin it down. You pin from this end to the other end. Okay, I've pinned it down. So I'll just sew here using quarter or half inch before showing guys how we do the back part. Okay, I've joined the front part of my pinafore together. So now we'll go ahead and join the back part. In joining the back part, you just start from You start from where you have your zipper allowance and you sew. Okay. You just sew it down like this. I'll do this for both sides. 
you just turn it this way and so okay you sew on both sides then you fix your zip at the back that will be all about this dress i will show you guys the finishing part of this square thank you okay this is how it's looking my back part so I'll go ahead and fix the zipper on it and just fold it into two like so I just use this fabric for illustration if you are doing yours make sure you line it very well like I said you turn the lower part with your lining first before attaching your bag so i'll just mark seven inches from my waistline then 1.5 inches here that's my zipper allowance so i'll close up the lower part from this point to where i have my seven inches using 1.5 inches till i get to the end and I'll fix my zipper at the upper part. I'll fix the zipper as you can see how it's looking. So I'll be weaving the lower part of my, that's the hemming part. I'll weave that interlocking and also the inner part of it so it will look neat. Please, if you want to line your own, ensure you do that. I just use this as a, as a sample material. It's not really quality material. That's why I did not line it. I just use it for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, so right now I'll be cutting the tie. As you can see in the picture, there's a tie around the neck. So you measure your round neck. So what I'm having here is 33 inches, and my actual neck measurement is 20, is 14 inches. My round neck is 14 inches. That is to say, I added 20 inches extra to it. So please do well to add 20 inches extra. So I'll just go and turn this over and sew. Thank you so much for watching. This is the outcome of my dress. You can see how beautiful it's looking. You can use any kind of pet for yours. For this, the better have for it. Bye, peace.